It is an honor to be joining you virtually at the Bengaluru Tech Summit all the way from Jerusalem, Israel's capital. A couple of weeks ago, I met with my dear friend, Prime Minister Modi, and we discussed the many ways that we can take Israel-India relations to the next level, especially a future technological collaboration between our countries, which can turn our great partnership into a powerhouse of innovation. Technology doesn't just have the power to help lives, it also has the power to save lives. If we join forces and put our minds to the mission, the opportunities are endless. You know, I always say amazing people can do amazing things. India is one of the biggest countries in the world with one of the biggest economies in the world and vast digital expertise. And Israel is one of the leading innovation nations of the world, the startup nations. When Indians and Israelis come together, amazing things happen. How do I know? Well, I did it. Um, in my previous life, I ran a company called Sayoda, and we merged with an Indian company called Oripay, and we were working together in our office in Manhattan. The fusion of the two civilizations, the two deep cultures, was remarkable. And I believe in that fusion. I believed it then, and I believe it now. And I'd like to share with you two of the most important lessons that I learned from my years in high tech. The first and most important lesson, when you found a company, the single biggest decision you'll make is not what the product is, not what the market is, not who your investors are. It's who your partners are. Where are you going to do it together with? And you have to choose optimistic people, smart people, can do, folks who, are, uh, who view the, the uh, actual company, the actual uh, uh, startup as more important than their part within the startup. And that is the biggest single decision you're going to make. And my second big lesson is do, act.